Well, good afternoon, YouTubes, and welcome to the new year. I hope everyone is prospering. All four people who watch my videos. The rest of you, I hope you die. If you ever come to Barber's for, say, like a track day or a race or the Vintage Festival, and you come via motorcycle, which I strongly recommend, this is also the road that I'm heading to, not this road. This road is plenty fun all by itself. But the road that I'm heading to is, is outside of Barber's. And so, you know, if you've got a couple hours to kill, you can always just go and ride the Mini Dragon. A friend of mine said, hey, why don't you do a, a video on cool roads to ride while you're at Barber's for people who come here? And I was like, that's a very good idea. And he wears Chewbacca shoes. So I will listen to him. Is that open? It is open. That should be closed. Closed, closed, closed. This is me trying my best to close my jacket. And I did it because I'm freaking special. I hope I still have my wallet. I get very paranoid and I'm always checking my pockets to make sure they're closed because one day I was riding and I, I had something that was incoincidental. I mean, it really it was actually probably good that I lost it. And, uh, but it was also kind of like, oh, I'm going to have to pay attention to that because uh, I really do not want to lose things out of my pocket while I'm riding. This hand is just a little bit cold right now, which is odd because the other hand is not. So I, I know a lot of people, and a lot of people know me, especially by the bikes. Um, so people were like, oh my gosh, you know, I can't believe that, you know, you would ride bikes. I'm like, well, that's a lot of you knows, but uh, why? It's so dangerous. It's like, yeah, you know, uh, I'm on two wheels. And look, no hands. But, and I think that's pretty much a key to riding a bike as well. You know, you, like I'm constantly aware of everything, no matter how much I'm talking and running off my mouth. I'm constantly aware of what's going on. I'm always looking around. The camera only sees one direction, but my eyes are constantly moving. And if you could see them, you would know that. I'm I like how I, I was allowing that guy space to get in and he wanted to wait until I got really close. Seriously, eyes always moving. Always looking for things like that. Cause, and people, you know, they get nervous around motorcycles. Oh, what are they going to do? Are they going to shoot me? Eh, maybe. But probably not. I mean, most guys that are on motorcycles nowadays, it's not the rebellion that it was in times past where, you know, it was these degenerates that were the only people that rode on two wheels. You know, there's degenerates in cars. Trust me. You know, I mean, they make the rules, I abide by them. Um, it's, that's kind of the world, man. You know, it's like, there's all these people making rules. Do you fight against them? Not if you need to. But if they rent the track and they say, hey, we're gonna make this as safe as possible. We're gonna make this unsafe sport as safe as we possibly can. Okay. I'll do what you want to do. I didn't go out and build a track. So, you know, it's not really like I can be upset about it. If I build a track, and I can do anything I want to. Because I'm a grown-up. Which is apparently going to be a thing today. I've said it like 27 times. Well, and it will probably end up being the uh, title of the video. Because I'm a grown-up. 
got a little wiggle in there when I said it too. So I made a list of things that I wanted to do today. First thing was hang out on the couch with my dog. And I did. It went smashing. We had a great time. Uh, wash some dishes, make a video, edit a video, go to the gym, do some squats, and eat good food. <laughs> and you're probably thinking, hey, <laughs> I've seen you. You eat plenty of food. Well, and that's true, but I, and I like but, but <laughs> I don't eat that much good food. A lot of times I eat whatever I can get on this bike or one of the other ones because I have a little three-way of bikes and uh, you know it's not always the best thing that I can eat and that's one of the things that I want to work on this year is trying to make smarter choices in the foods that I eat even if it means you know people making fun of me I mean people make fun of me all the time why should I care about them making fun of me right now you know what I mean I do stuff. I work at this one party, I thought it was a fishing tournament called the Bass Nectar. And um, it turned out that it actually was people dressing up like fish and dancing and um, sometimes not wearing much clothing at all, which I'm going to be honest was kind of good and bad. You're, you're not any closer to being appreciated as naked than I would be. So let's put on some pants and a shirt and some shoes because you don't know what's been all over these floors.